Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am showing you how to make the best roasted potatoes. Now this is a very simple recipe slash cooking technique that every home cook wants to have in their back pocket. And I'm gonna share a tip with you that is going to promise you the most crispy and delicious roasted potatoes you've ever made. These roasted potatoes are perfect as a side dish. They're great for meal prep, and in a pinch, they 100% satisfy a french fry craving. So the first thing I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we're gonna prep the potatoes. Now you could really use any type of potato for this, but my personal favorite are the small Yukon Gold potatoes because they're waxy enough on the outside that they get nice and crisp, but the inside gets super creamy and tender and fluffy and buttery. But again, whatever you have will work. So I'm gonna rinse two pounds of potatoes under some cold water, and I just like to give them a rub, make sure to get off any extra dirt or debris. Once they're all clean, I'll transfer them onto a towel and pat them dry. And remember, roasting is a dry heat cooking technique, so to get that nice crispy golden edge that we all love so much, you don't want your potatoes to be wet or they will end up steaming. Now you may notice that your potatoes vary in shapes and sizes and that's totally fine. That's how potatoes roll. The key is that we just cut them into fairly uniform size pieces. So depending on the size of your potatoes, that may mean cutting them in half, in quarters, in thirds, etc. Once I've got them all cut, I'm gonna transfer them into a nice big bowl and drizzle them with two tablespoons of avocado oil, which is a great choice for high heat cooking because it's got a nice high smoke point. And then I've got a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna gently begin to toss this all together and you may notice that I didn't add any salt at this point. This is the secret to the world's best roasted potatoes because once you add salt, it begins to draw the liquid out of the potatoes and that excess liquid is going to interrupt the browning that we want, that nice, rich, golden brown, crusty edge on the potatoes. So we are going to save the salt for when the potatoes are done cooking. That is the secret. Now, if you wanted to add a little extra flair, you could toss in anywhere between six to eight garlic cloves that are unpeeled, like I have here, along with a few sprigs of fresh thyme or a little bit of fresh rosemary. Both are absolutely beautiful and delicious, but 100% optional. From here, I'm just gonna spread them out on a rimmed baking sheet. This is a half sheet pan, definitely one of my kitchen essentials. And then I'm just gonna spread them out. Make sure they have enough space in between, again, because this is gonna help them get that nice golden edge that we're looking for. This is gonna go into my oven for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna take it out, flip them and rotate them around a bit. You're gonna see at this point that you've got a beautiful golden edge. <clears throat> so good and then i'm just going to pop them in for another 10 to 12 minutes until they are cooked all the way through you're going to know your potatoes are done because you're going to have this beautiful golden crispy edge they're going to be fork tender and the center is going to be creamy and fluffy and delicious and now is the time to salt them so grab your favorite quality sea salt and sprinkle it right over the top we often like to serve these right alongside with some ketchup because that satisfies my unwavering love and desire for french fries but they are also great with some aioli, and of course they are delicious enough to enjoy all on their own. Personally, I honestly could eat them every single day for the rest of my life. So good. <laughs> so I'm super excited for you to give them a try. I really hope you enjoy them as much as we do. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers.